Press play and get reviewed. It's time once again for the Haunted World of CW Season 6 episode review. This one's episode 10, and let's dive right in. Because I gotta tell you, this thing actually taught me a few things. So, once again, spoiler alert. I'm putting the link to the channel down in there. If you have not seen the episode in question, go there first. First, yes. Go there first. Watch the episode. Please. They deserve it. And I want it. Besides, I'll still be here. Okay? Yeah. Now, let's go ahead and get started on this. Uh, basically, we're in the aftermath of Bloody Mary. And apparently, King James left a note with Jesse after his brutal assault. Uh, in the murder barn, and I'm still kind of feeling for Jesse on that one, but he left a note about Constance's dad, and said that there was some kind of a clue at this resale store in Wooster. So we see them downtown in Wooster, and apparently Whisper's never been downtown. You live someplace all your life. You've never been downtown. That, that's kind of weird to me. But, you know, I understand it. You know, there are some people who have been rather sheltered. And considering Whisper's powers, I would dare say that I would probably shelter her too. So, we find out she's never been there. And Constance has the realization all of their lives suck. Jesse, you know, he doesn't have contact with his daughter. He just wants to drink and party. He ended up contracting a hell virus. Uh, he's been bitten by a werewolf. Used as bait so much. Uh, had his ass kicked by Jet by King James. And, you know, I mean, yeah, just ow. You know, so yeah, that life sucks. Constance, stuck in a paranormal research facility for so long. And I still think there's going to be another callback to that. You know, Red Crows. I think a little too important to the show for them not to call back. And uh, Whisper, you know, I mean, she was just sheltered her entire life, never really allowed to do anything outside of school. So yeah, all their, all their lives really do suck. You know, and if we have to, we're going to throw Claire into the mix on that one because, you know, Claire, she was a homecoming queen and all that, but then when they decided to diagnose her with her illness, that started off her entire life, which led to her death at the hands of King James. Now, again, we still haven't verified this or been able to deny it. And with Branson missing, we're kind of unable to truly get a verification on it. For all we know, there was a way to cast a simulacrum spell, and, you know, that's what King James got. Or he, they just found an extremely coincidental look-alike. Let's just say the odds aren't good for our favorite homecoming queen. But they go into the resale store, and Constance spreads the uh, half-truth of them be investigating Larry James, a.k.a. King James, or as I call him, Larry Tate. Mainly because of the whole cable guy fiasco of a movie. I don't know why people hate that one. It was actually okay. But... The lady behind the counter says, Oh, yeah, there was somebody that kind of matched that description. We tried to sell some old VHS tapes. Just left them here because we weren't going to give them any money for them. And uh, just hands them over to Constance. Meanwhile, after telling Whisper, Don't touch anything. Sure enough, Whisper touches something. She's wearing a straw hat and a bridal veil. First thing I want to say is, Whisper, you're going to make a beautiful bride someday. That veil was just kicking. Loved it. Second off, really? A straw hat and bridal veil? And third, you were told not to touch anything. Classic whisper. <laughs> I love it. And of course, Jesse's like, you know, you're going to get that for Because of course, Constance ends up buying it. You're going to buy that for her? Yeah. Um, you know, she would have learned her lesson if you didn't. You know, one thing that I noticed before they went into the store is that they were right across the street from a tattoo parlor and looking at Jesse's tats and his shirt, 
Yeah. One thing is necessary. Blue Lantern symbol. Because if this team is going to be all about hope against the things that go bump in the night, you need a symbol of hope. And with the Blue Lanterns, hope burns bright. Can you tell I'm a fan? Yeah, Sam Walker's my hero. <laughs> okay, so, now before this, and this is important, this is important, there was a knock, there was a ring on the doorbell, Whisper goes to answer, doesn't see anybody. Closes the door, rings again, nobody. Rings a third time, this time Constance opens it, nobody. Closes it, and they start to ignore it. You can see basically, I don't know how many minutes it was later, but... Look, finally they look down, and it's Consuela the doll. And... Apparently she's back. And, you know, the reason I say earlier is because after the whole uh, thrift store thing... Jet, they walk in, and Whisper's trying to feed Consuela tortilla chips. And complaining that they're too salty. They're tortilla chips. They're supposed to be salty. That's their menu. That's their wheelhouse. That's where they live. If you get them low sodium, it's... You might as well just eat the corn. That's my opinion. But Jesse sees it all, and the look on his face. Epic. I thought I mailed that to Abu Dhabi or some shit. And I'm like, really? You're going to throw Garfield out right now? <laughs> what is going to swell up? Odie? You know, or... Well, it might have been like Azerbaijan or something like that. I don't know. But it seemed like Abu Dhabi to me. You know, and the joke really works. So, he takes Consuela, starts the sink running, and puts her in the garbage disposal and hits Frappe. Well... Whisper pulls out her phone, and she has an app that detects whether or not the ghost is going to try and kill them. And the app says, 100% chance of death. You're fucked. Well, shit. So that happened. <laughs> but now, Constance starts going through some of the old videos... And sure enough, finds out that her dad had taped over not just Jurassic Park, which, who does that? Although I have to say, with Jeff Goldblum being in there, I do kind of understand. But also taped over Star Wars. Now that, I don't understand. I'm sorry. You, you just don't mess up Star Wars. Ever. But the video that we're treated to was shot back in 99, and let me tell you. Oh, shit. So, turns out her dad and her uncle are out hunting a werewolf. Or some kind of wolf-like creature. Well, this thing kind of hides. And for a long time, they don't find anything. And here's the part where even, where, you know, even my expertise in this... In, in the canon kind of is questionable and that's I can't tell which one was the dad and which one was the uncle I can't although I'm pretty sure that someone's gonna let me know but one seems to bite the big one and the other one gets bitten fighting off the big one so yeah like hand therapy thy name is Wilmanson now and from the list of things, one's a zombie, one this, one that, yeah. It, this paranormal research thing for the Wilmington clan never ends well, does it? Apparently, I think, I think they might have been trying to end the whole thing with Claire and Constance. But, you know, curses come and last, so. Okay, so, here's the deal. After seeing that, they have more questions and answers. Scene. And what a scene it is. So, now the house is even more haunted. Consuela is angry. She loved Jesse. She was in love with him. And just because he wants to get knocked all the way to Brady 44's place in Canada, or wherever, all I know is I've seen her in Canada and a couple of times, so I'm thinking that that's where she lives. Let me know, Britt. 
That way I can be sure. Uh, I gotta catch up on your channel anyway. I really do because I'm thinking about doing a review of it. But yeah, there's that. Uh, but yeah, he, not only does he want to get knocked all the way there, but he wants to do it Consuela less because he knows that Consuela don't like Brady and he do. So, get rid of the competition, and now Vengeful Spirit again. I have a feeling we're going to see that Egon trap work again. This time on Consuela. Sorry, girl. You know, somebody who'd be that vengeful against people who hate them? You can haunt me if you want. Seriously. Come on down here. But, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. I will say, um... The whole King James turned us on to this thing. Once again, that's kind of calling his character into question. Why would he do this? What does he gain out of it? What, what, what does he earn by actually helping the people he's trying to kill? So, you know, maybe it's like there actually is a struggle for the humanity control in there. We'll see. But in the meantime... Uh, there's that, Consuela. We still have uh, the question about whether or not Constance's powers are going to evolve further, whether there's any going to be any further interaction with the Mirrorverse, because from what we heard in the last episode, they've kind of been watching. So I think maybe we might see an evil doppelganger thing going on. That'd be kind of neat. Um, the people over at the GG13 Collective, posted up a tweet saying, what would you like to see next? Honestly, I think the werewolves won that one, and I would have said vampire, but right now I'm a, I'm knee-deep in the Adventurers League for D&D with uh, Curse of Strahd season, and that's a pretty old-school gothic vampire story. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of, you know, all vampire there right now. The werewolf thing, you know, that's been kind of coming up, but honestly, I kind of dig it, you know, if they went with the werewolf, because it actually is a callback to when Jesse got bit right as soon as Constance first emerged. Uh, so, there's that, there, there's my thoughts on that one right there, um, that, and seriously, Jesse, the Blue Lantern symbol tattoo, that needs to happen. And it needs to be put somewhere very obvious. And if I were you, I'd even get it blessed. That way you might be able to ward off King James a bit. Remember, I don't think Bakrim magic works where there's actually hope. Yeah, I could be wrong on that. I probably am. And remember, take everything I say with a grain of salt on this. But there's that. Um... Also, Whisper, yeah, you're going to make a very beautiful bride one day. I can guarantee you that. Um, and chin up, girl. You're going to be able to see a lot more of the world. I mean, you've already been out more than you ever were with your house, just being with your sister. So um, you're probably going to go downtown a lot more. And I highly encourage it, actually. You know, Wooster's a beautiful place. Never been myself, but We Street U was an awesome program before they deleted it. So, so I'm so salty about that, just really here. But with all that said, I'd like to thank everybody for watching once more and spending your time with me. Uh, down below, remember, is a link to the GG13 Collective's Haunted World of CW channel. That's youtube.com slash girl 13 if you can remember it. If not, it's down there. Uh, also, down there, uh, you will be the link for donations to help try to improve what I'm doing here. Uh, you know, intro video, outro video, maybe some music, throw here. Um, kind of have some ideas for a couple other things, including a podcast, if I can actually get everything together. I just need the equipment to do it, and right now I don't have it. But throughout all of that, you know, you guys have been wonderfully supportive, and I absolutely adore each and every person who subscribed, followed me on Twitter. You guys are excellent, and I look forward to seeing even more of you and even more of you. I love you all. You guys are the reason I'm doing this, and, you know, I'm going to keep doing it for you. So, until next time, to 
Everyone out there, this is J.D. Paladin reminding you, stay righteous.